Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade comparison problem. We have 2 to the power square root of 5 plus 1 divided by 2 and 3. And we're going to find out which number is larger. So we're going to compare these two numbers and we're going to be using some exponents and some interesting stuff. All right, so most of you will recognize the exponent for 2 root 5 plus 1 over 2, or sometimes it's written as 1 plus root 5 over 2, because it usually comes with its conjugate, 1 minus root 5 over 2. So 1 plus root 5 over 2 is a special number, because it's called the golden ratio. Go you can see golden ratio in so many different places, in nature, you know, in um, Mona Lisa, and so many other things. Human body, uh, nature, so on and so forth. Anyways. And it's, it's an interesting number uh, that has a lot of interesting features. Uh, let's not get into too many details here. Let's go ahead and compare these two numbers. And at the end, I'm going to show you a numerical value for 2 to the power root 5 plus 1 over 2 so that you can see how close they are. So at this point, go ahead and make a guess. Which number do you think is going to be larger? And then let's find out. So I'm going to start with 2 to the power 8. Why? Because 2 to the power 8 is 256. Well, that's not the reason, but I'm going to compare it to another power of 3. And if you think about powers of 2 and powers of 3, you're going to realize this. For example, if you think about powers of 3, you have 3, 9, 27, 81, and then you get 243. That number is actually pretty close to 256, which is 2 to the 8th power. So this is 3 to the 5th power. Therefore, I can safely say that 256 is greater than 243. Don't you agree? In other words, 2 to the 8th power is greater than 3 to the 5th power. Now, why am I using integer powers of 2 and 3? Obviously, I'm going to have to go to that radical, the golden ratio. But before that, I need to be able to compare these two numbers. So, let's see how we can use it. First of all, I do need a 3. So let's go ahead and raise both sides here to the power 1 fifth. And this is how we can do it. Raise this to the power 1 over 5 and raise this to the power 1 over 5. And uh, since both numbers are positive, even if they were negative, this would still be good because we're basically taking the fifth root of both sides. Make sense? So that will be good in any case. But from here we get 2 to the power 8 over 5 is greater than 3. Awesome. Now what is so cool about this is 8 over 5 is actually related to root 5 plus 1 over 2. Let's see how it is. So think about it at this point. I have root 5 plus 1 over 2 on one side and I have 8 over 5 which is 1.6 on the other side. If you are familiar with golden ratio a little bit you'll hopefully know the approximate value, then you can just, you know, compare them right away. But let's go ahead and do it algebraically, analytically. Okay? So we're not just guessing. And a lot, a lot of times people say, hey, why don't you use a calculator? That's not the point. If you're saying that, hey, I can do this with a calculator easily, that's not the point. We have to think and use these algebraic tools to arrive at the answer. Why? Because this helps us develop our thinking skills. Okay. Anyways, I talk too much, I guess, can't help it. So I'd like to associate this number to that number, which can also be written as 8 over 5. So how do you associate them? Here's the trick. Ready, set, go. Okay, I'm going to start with 5 cubed. Why? Because I do need to get to root 5, but 125 is a good number to start with. And of course, I'm going to associate it or, or compare it to another number, which is kind of nearby, but I want that number to be a perfect square. And 121 is actually the perfect candidate for this role. All right, so let's go ahead and start by comparing, I guess that's not the pen that I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, so 125 is greater than 121, do you agree? And let's go ahead and square root both sides. When we do, we're gonna get five root five is greater than 11. Awesome. But we're going to make it awesomer because as it, as it is, it's not going to help us get to root 5 plus 1 over 2. But if we do a little bit of manipulation, then we're going to get what we want. 
So, in order to stick to the root 5 plus 1 pattern, let's go ahead and add 5 to both sides. You'll see in a little bit why this is super duper helpful. And of course, some of you guys are like, like where on earth does this come from? Like, how did you come up with something like this out of scratch, right? No, I didn't come up with it like this. I worked the problem. I went backwards. So you kind of seeing this movie backwards. Okay, that's why it kind of looks interesting. Anyways, so we got this so far. And I want to get to root 5 plus 1 over 2. So what should I do to both sides? And if you said divide by 10, you got it. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 10. But not only that, that's going to give us root 5 plus 1 over 2 on the left-hand side, but it's also going to give us 1.6 on the right-hand side. And that's beautiful, isn't it? That's what we were looking for. Awesome. I mean, obviously, that's not a coincidence. This is what happens when you come up with a problem, like a comparison problem, and then just work it backwards. Make sense? Hopefully it does. Now let's go ahead and factor out a 5 here. 5 times root 5 plus 1 over 2 is greater than 16 over 10. By the way, do not, well, I guess you could. You could write this 8 over um, 16 over 10 as 8 over 5. It wouldn't hurt, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Write this as 8 over 5, which is going to be 1.6 eventually. But notice that, I don't know why I wrote um, 2 at the bottom, by the way. I'm kind of ahead ahead of myself, but uh, you can go ahead and cross cancel here. 5 goes into 10 two times. Awesome. Now look what we got. Root 5 plus 1 over 2 is greater than 8 over 5, which is 1.6 by the way. Now remember, I was trying to compare these two numbers, right? And I didn't know which one is larger. Well, I was pretending not to know, but I, of course I knew already, right? Of course you knew, to, you knew too. But anyways, now you can see that root 5 plus 1 over 2 is greater than 1.6. Make sense? How do you think I'm going to use it? Here's how we're going to use it. We're going to do 2 to the power both sides. So it's going to look like this. 2 to the power root, pa root 5 plus 1 over 2 is greater than 2 to the power 8 over 5. But we already knew that 2 to the power 8 over 5 is greater than 3. Therefore, if you go ahead and put the 3 here, you're going to have like a chain of inequalities. Right? I don't know if it's called consecutive inequalities. But... A chain of inequalities and that gives you from transitive property if a is greater than b and b is greater than c this implies a is greater than c right in a normal, normal world so we can safely say that this number is greater than 3. so our conclusion is 2 to the power root 5 plus 1 over 2 is greater than 3 since we were looking for the larger number this would be the winning number let me go ahead and show you the numerical value real quick and then we'll finish up. Here you go. 2 to the power root 5 plus 1 over 2 is slightly bigger than 3. It's 3.06956450765 dot dot dot. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.